today we are going to study about acids bases and salt there are so many definitions for acids and bases first we are going to study about the definition given by arrhenius according to arrhenius acids are substances that on dissociation gives h plus ions and bases are substances on dissociation gives oh minus ions so first we are going to study about arrhenius concept for acids and bases so according to arrhenius compounds on dissociation gives h plus ions that type of compounds are called acids for example hcl that on dissociation we will get h plus and cl minus here it gives h plus ion so this compound is considered as an acid another example is hno3 it also gives h plus ion on dissociation gives h plus ions and the no3 minus ion so this is also an example for acid or we can say perchloric acid hclo4 or h2so4 or acetic acid or formic acid that they are organic compounds these two are organic compounds so all these are acids according to arrhenius concept so according to arrhenius acids are substances that will give h plus ions on dissociation so these are the examples for acids according to arrhenius then base base are substances that will give oh minus ions on dissociation for example sodium hydroxide naoh that on dissociation gives na plus and oh minus ion so according to arrhenius bases are substances that on dissociation gives oh minus that is called hydroxyl ions oh minus ions on dissociation another examples calcium hydroxide that will give two oh minus ions then potassium hydroxide all these are examples for bases according to arrhenius so according to arrhenius acids are substances that will give h plus ions on dissociation and bases are substances that will give oh minus ions on dissociation but we know that it does not cover all the compounds which shows the acidic and basic properties so we are considering we are going to study about the other definition given by two scientists that is one danish chemist and one english chemist bronsted and lowry the concept concept is called bronsted lowry so that is the second one Johannes Bronsted and Thomas Lowry I shall write this short for These are the two chemists that will they will give the definition for acids and bases According to them acids are substances which can donate which can give which can release one h plus ion so if a compound can donate h plus ions you know that h plus ions contains only protons so they are called uh, protons so acids are substances they are proton donors according to bronsted and lowry and bases are substances which can accept h plus ions they are proton acceptors if a compound can give h plus ion that is an acid if a compound can accept if a compound can accept an h plus ion that is called a base according to lowry and bronsted we will consider the examples the same example we can give hcl 
that can give one x plus i o2 or another example that is water water on dissociation can give x plus i so this is also a this is also an example for acids according to brownstead and lowry then bases nh3 we know that due to the presence of one unshared pair of electron that is called lone pair it can accept h plus i so nh3 due to the presence of lone pair it can accept h plus i o and form nh4 plus so this is considered as uh, a base according to brownstead and lowry same way water can also accept h plus water can donate h plus and water can accept h plus and form hydronium ions so water at the same time can act as an acid or a base according to brownstead and lowry so according to brownstead and lowry acids are substances which can donate h plus ions donate protons and bases are substances which can accept h plus ion accept a proton for example when it seal react with nh3 according to brownstein lowry hcl is an acid and nh3 is a base acid must release a proton and base must accept a proton so hcl is giving a proton that is accepted by nh3 that will become nh3 plus because it lost its electron plus remaining what is there cl minus so according to lonstad and brory hcl is an acid nh3 is a base then look at the product here nh sorry here nh4 plus can donate a proton nh4 plus gives a proton so this is an acid that acid is formed from a base so that is called conjugate acid so ammonia and nh4 plus are conjugated pairs base and conjugate acid then what about cl minus it is a base because it can easily accept an h plus and form hcl this a compound accept the species accept h plus ion we can call it a base so this is a base it is called the conjugate base of the acid so these are called conjugated acid base pairs it's cl and cl minus are conjugated acid base pairs so if I, an acid is a strong acid it can easily donate a ch plus and form conjugate base so the difference between an acid and the conjugate base is only about an h plus ion and the difference between a base and a conjugate acid is also about are uh, different they differ in h plus ions so according to brownstead and lowry if a uh, if a compound releases h plus ions they are called acid and if a compound accept h plus ion they are called it is called base then after uh, donation of h plus from h plus ions from an acid it will form a conjugate base and after donating h plus after accepting h plus from an acid uh, it will form a conjugate acids so conjugate pairs differs only in h plus ions we take another example 
water with water here one is giving an s plus ion and one is accepting an s plus ion so h2 on giving h plus that is accepted by this water and form h3o plus that is called hydronium ion it is called hydronium ion hydronium ion then what is remaining after giving H plus? That is OH minus. That is called a hydroxyl ion. So here, one of the water molecule is acting as an acid and one of the water molecule is acting as base. So water has the properties, dual property. That is it will show acidic property and basic property property that type of compounds we are called amphoteric that is they will show both the properties of acid and base okay here one of the water molecule is giving uh, h plus ion and one of the water molecule is accepting h plus ion so this is acid and this is a conjugate base H2O and OH- are conjugated pairs. Acid and conjugate base. This is base and conjugate acids. So that is clear? That is the second definition. Then we are going to study about the third definition that is given by Lewis. That is entirely different definition. Lewis concepts for acid and base. According to Lewis, acids are substances which can accept a pair of electrons, that is two electrons. Acids are substances which can accept a pair of electrons and bases and they are not simply called acids and bases they are called Lewis acids and Lewis bases always we will um, uh, add this prefix before their name Lewis acid Lewis base so Lewis base are substance which can donate a pair of electron examples as it is we can consider the example B C L three B F three H plus here we know that in B C L three at the central atom contain only six pair of electrons. Sorry, six electron, three pair of electron. To to acquire stability, we know that it requires eight electron that is called op. So all the compounds have a tendency to gain the stability or I gain 8 electrons. So all these compounds will readily accept one pair of electron because they contain only 6 electrons in their valence shell. So they are considered as Lewis acid. Same way we know that H plus is electron deficient, it has no electron, only proton is there. So it is also ready to accept electron. So that is also considered our example for Lewis acid. So generally we can say that our electron deficient compounds or all electron deficient compounds which contains the shell are Lewis acids. Then Lewis base. A very good example for Lewis base is ammonia. It contains one pair of electron. So it can give uh, one pair of electron. So it is acting as a Lewis base. Example, when BCl3 combined with NH3, it will form a compound. BCl3 dot NH3. Here 
lone pair is given by ammonia and accepting by BCl3. So this is a Lewis base and this is a Lewis acids. Like that all uh, organic compound like amines are coming under the definition of Lewis bases. So these are the three definitions about compounds which show acidic and basic behavior. So first one is, once again I will say first one is Arrhenius concept. According to any Arrhenius concepts, acids are proton gives gives H plus ion and bases gives H minus ions on dissociation. According to Lowry and Brownstead, acids uh, will give H plus ion and bases will accept H plus ion. According to Lewis concepts, concept, acids will accept one pair of electron and bases will give one pair of electron. So these are the acid basis definition given by Lewis base Lewis acid. Given by three, not three, four scientists. First one is Arrhenius and here there are two. Uh, uh, Thomas Flory and Johanna uh, Brownstead and then third one is Lewis. Clear? Next we will study about source. Source or they are called electrolytes. So simply we can say on dissociation or on dissolving water they will give positive and negative ions. That type of compounds are called the